Hi, this is Fraser from makeupprintable.com. Um, this is a video about Illustrator and how you uh, set up your business card. Um, I strongly encourage you to do your business card in InDesign if you have a copy of it. Uh, it's sort of more meant for that purpose, setting up uh, business cards and things and setting things for print. Uh, but Illustrator is fine, a lot of people use it. Um, just a lot of people don't really know these um, few tricks I'm going to show you. It's just kind of about exporting, uh, sorry, saving as a printable PDF and um, setting up your artwork with bleeds and crops. It's pretty easy to do in Illustrator, but a lot of think, people think you can't do it. Um, so here's, here's my business card, and um, first thing you want to do is give it bleed and crops, or actually just bleed. So I've got the bleed in here, so my business card size we're working in metric here is um, sorry I'll explain what I did just there um, went to document setup to change the size of my artboard so get the document setup box and here's edit artboards you click edit artboards to change the size of your artwork there and so um, this says 96 here you might not be able to read that and this says 61 and now that's my art size including bleed art size plus bleed so really my art size is 90 by 55 because I'm having three mils bleed all the way around the printer is going to trim those three mils around of every side so um, once I've done that I'll just click on my direct select tool and here we are you can see the edges of the finished art in the black line and you can see my bleed hanging off there at the end so my um, document size is my is my actual um, finished size that I want my business card to be and the bleed goes beyond that by three millimeters so what you do then is you, um, in, in Illustrator you don't, you don't um, export like in design, you save. Um, and I'll just go to the desktop or something, doesn't really matter. And we get this dialog box to save, um, start up here at um, custom. I've got some presets there that I use and you should use those as well. Um, you go down to um, compression, I'll we'll start off at general doesn't really matter what you do there. What I'm teaching you here is get your compression right. Um, I don't have any images in this file, so it doesn't really matter. It's graying out a lot of this resolution stuff because the vector um, is not dependent on the resolution. Um, go down to marks and bleeds. This is the trick I want to show you. So um, you might have all this stuff switched off. Um, you want to switch on trim marks and you want to say use document bleed settings. Now the document bleed settings are here are zero. There's no document bleed setting, so you can uncheck that and put in three, 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 three if you want. Then you want to save the PDF. I'm going to cancel back out of here and show you how to put the document bleed settings in. So you've got document setup. Up here you've got bleed. You just want to put three, 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 three. three. And then you will get another little line in your artwork. It's a red on-screen effect that just shows you what the uh, bleed is. So you go back to save. Um, let's change that. Um, so go back to my marks and bleeds. Use document bleed settings has three in there. It doesn't matter which way you do it. I prefer to have the document bleed settings in every document I work on so that it's in there by default. So we need trim and I bleed and that's all I need. Export your PDF and when you open the PDF, check if it's got the trims and the bleed and if it does, you're good to roll. Okay, good luck and let me know how you go.